Hey guys! Today I'm going to be swatching the Timeless Muse collection by Melody Susie. It's a collection of six nude coloured gel polishes. Now a while ago I tried out gel polish for the first time and it was an experience. It did take me a while to get the hang of it and I made a couple of mistakes too. Um, I'll put a link to the video in the description box if you're interested. But yeah, I have remembered to buff my nails this time so at least I won't be making that mistake again. So first thoughts on this collection is that they are very work appropriate shades. The last Melody Suzy collection I swatched were like bright pastel shades, so it's nice that they've released a more muted collection for those of us that can't wear bright crazy colours at work. So I applied a peel off base coat for these swatches only, but normally you don't need a base or a top coat because these are one step gels which is what I love about them. So the first colour is called Pink Rouge and it's a pretty pale pink. After each coat, I'm going to cure the gel under an LED lamp for one minute. This colour needed three coats to be opaque, but because I applied the gel so thinly, overall it didn't look too thick. Next up is Peach Light, a muted orange polish. Warm Taupe, a purpley grey brown. The next one is Bordeaux, and I think this is one of my favourites. I really, really like this colour, surprisingly. And the next one's called Beige, which doesn't really look like what I thought beige was. It looks like more of a creamy colour. And I'm cleaning up any mistakes with a toothpick. It's important to do this before curing the gel, otherwise it will be really hard to clean up. This is what they look like after curing the first coat. I'm impressed with how opaque Bordeaux is in just one coat, but I think I do need to apply a second coat to all of these. This is how they look after two coats. Peach Light and Warm Taupe were not completely opaque, so I did apply a third coat. As you can see on my middle nail in particular, it's still a bit patchy. I ended up doing three coats for Peach Light and Warm Taupe, but the other two are pretty much opaque in two. And the final colour is called Caramel Brown. I've run out of fingers on my left hand, so Cindy will be making an appearance today. Note, Cindy is my right hand, aka Cinderella, because she does all the work and gets none of the glory. So this colour basically matches my skin perfectly, and I really like it. It was almost opaque in one coat, but I'm applying a second coat anyway. And here are all the swatches. As you can see, they're all so shiny without top coat. If I had to pick a favourite colour, it would probably be between Bordeaux and Caramel Brown. And that's it for this video. I'll put a link in the description box if you're interested in buying this collection. And I also have a discount code, which will also be in the description box. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon. Bye.